what I find happens with me is that there will be times where I'll let the insecurity be the final word. And I will come to Jesus with a conclusion. This isn't going right in my life. I'm stuck. And that's a fact. And I won't be able to move beyond that. And you know, Scripture is full of people who came to Jesus, essentially came to him with a no. And they approached him and they had relationship with him, even if it was briefly. But they came to him with a no because their fear and their insecurity was the final ending point that they were at. They couldn't move beyond that. So some examples, um, a parable example would be the older son in the Luke 15, the parable of the prodigal son. The older son had a no when the father came out to him. He didn't have a yes to the father's invitation. He had the brokenness of his situation. I've been here all this time. I've been serving and you have never invited me and you've never let me share. The Pharisees who came to Jesus had a no because they had their rules, they had their traditions, they had their lifestyle that they felt was godly and they had a no. They could not move beyond their insecurities about losing their power and their control. The rich man who came to Jesus who said, what more must I do to get the kingdom of heaven? Well, you've done so much. All you need to do is sell all of these possessions that have a hold over your heart. Come follow me. Live eternal life. He went away because he had a no. He couldn't move beyond what was a fear, what was an insecurity about his wealth and about his resources. The disciples who, um, who were following Jesus but then left when he said, you have to eat my body and my blood. They couldn't get over that hurdle. Their fear about whether this was right, whether this is something they could do, stopped them from going further. They isolated themselves. They let a gap appear and they weren't able to get to home. Scripture is full of people who encountered Jesus and left him because of a no that was on their side of the equation. They weren't able to get beyond. Has anyone, maybe put up your hand, has anyone got a friend or a family member whose no is stopping them get to Jesus? Whose insecurity, whose fear, whose brokenness, whose previous experience with church, whose hurt. I have a family member whose no is not letting them get beyond, and it, the, the no is hurt. Why did God let this happen? Why did God let me get hurt like this? But the no is stopping them, and it's like the channel. It's, it's impassable water between them and home. You know, the scripture's full of people on the other side, though, who had the situation, but didn't let the situation stop them. So, for example, the prodigal son, he was coming back to the father, covered in pig poo, Without his money, his clothes ragged and torn, and yet he came back to the father. He didn't let his circumstance, his fear, and his insecurity stop him from coming back. Jairus, who was afraid about his daughter, who was close to death, didn't let that situation stop him going to Jesus. Zacchaeus, even though he knew he was vilified and hated by the people who he'd been ripping off with their taxes and did not want to draw attention to himself, climbed a tree in front of everybody who hated his guts so he could see Jesus, so Jesus could see him. He didn't let what was an insecurity and a fear stop him from...